Hello Capricorn, this is going to be your twin flame reading for August. I'm sorry it took so long. I know, I did half of the readings for whatever, and then I didn't I didn't finish. I'm I'm rectifying that. Right now we're diving in. Okay. <laughs> so I'm doing the readings a little bit different. Um, this is Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. <laughs> I've already cleansed your space. Um, actually, let me sound cleanse this area because I just read for um, Capricorn. One, I mean, Scorpio. Sorry. One second. All right. So I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to do two cards for your energy, two cards for your person's energy, a advice from spirit card. We're going to dive into messages of love from your person, two cards, and we're going to end with getting into the vortex relationship advice card from Abraham Hicks, Esther and Jerry. All right, so let's see what's in store for Capricorn. My little guy is in here, so just so he likes to hang out with mom. Hey, don't do that to my chair, please. All right, Capricorn, let's get two energies cards for Capricorn. Person, where are you going, babe? Sure. Of course. Two Capricorn cards for Capricorn's energy. And then we're going to do their person. So, whoa, Cappy. Nuts. All right. Let's try that again. I'm not taking any cards unless they fly out, just so you know. So, that way I know for sure they're your cards. You can't argue with me about it, okay? Cappy's energy in regards to this twin soul connection. Cappy's energy, please. Two cards. Okay, we're going to flip it. Put it face down so it doesn't interfere with any of the other cards, right? That way it doesn't influence. Okay, Cappy's person. Cappy's person. Wow. Okay, they gave you three for your person. And let's do advice from spirit in regards to this connection. Okay, so your cards. First card that came out is the devil. Second card that came out is the hierophant and it's in reverse. Okay, and let's see, let's get your persons. Do, 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 do. Actually, no, I'm going to stick with yours right now. I'm not going to dive into your person just yet. All right, um, so we have, let's focus on Capricorns. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Capricorn, whoo, okay, <laughs> your energy. Um, you are right now shutting old belief systems. You are shutting old paradigms, old programs, old subconscious beliefs that are no longer serving you. Kudos to you, Capricorn. That's not easy to do. I wish I could give you a big energetic hug. That's insane. I am so proud of you. And then we have the Hierophant in reverse. So um, literally, it's the same energy. It's about flipping your whole belief systems upside down, literally, like you're London, too noisy, okay? If you're going to be in here, you need to be quiet. You can play on your tablet or you can go out if you're not feeling like being quiet anymore, okay? Be respectful of mommy's job. Sit down, please. Yeah. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Okay. So, it's the whole energy of flipping your whole belief system upside down again. Wow. Like, everything that you thought you knew about yourself and about society and about everything completely flip-flopped. It's amazing. It's incredible. So good for you. Um, love you too, London. All right. So your person's energy. We have seven of pentacles, patience, the star, and ace of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So your person is feeling very, very patient right now. They are feeling very hopeful. They, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, Capricorn. I had to give my little guy out because he was in some shenanigans right now. It's so hot in here. I have the fan on, it's doing nothing. Okay, so your person is, they have a lot of patience, whoever this is. Like, they've been very, very patient. They understand the connection. Um, 
they're feeling very hopeful. At the same time, they're very, very focused on the things that are going on in the 3D. They're focused on um, creating wealth and money for themselves, right? They're focused on creating a, a, a stable foundation in the 3D, okay? So, you know what? You might be the feminine. Your person might be the masculine. I'm not saying that that's how it is. But energetic-wise, this is how it's coming across to me. Whereas, when I did Libra's read, it was flip-flopped. It, it felt like the message was for a masculine. And it felt like, you know, the counterpart energy was feminine. So, I don't know. The outcome and advice from spirit is wealth in reverse. Which is weird. Um, ten, ten of pentacles in reverse. So the advice and spirit is not to focus so much on the 3D. Okay, Capricorn, stop worrying. I'm sorry about the background noise. S Capricorn, stop worrying about your finances. Here's what happens when we worry about something. It continues to show up in our reality. So for example, you're worried about not having enough money. Guess what? Spirit's going to say, okay, so you don't have enough money. Per law of attraction, whatever we focus on is what shows up in our reality. Stop focusing on money. Stop saying, I don't have enough. Stop saying, I don't have enough. <laughs> Continue to focus on the fact that you have abundance all around you. The message that keeps coming up for me, animals do not worry about where they're going to get their next meal or their next whatever. They trust in the abundance of the universe this is what you need to do as well stop focusing on where you're seeing lack and instead focus on where you see things overflowing okay one second all right sorry guys i really need to get a microphone every single time i'm so annoyed i'm sorry but every single time i buy a microphone it gets fucked up i had two microphones so far and neither of them worked with my phone Maybe I just need to get a new phone. I don't know. It's irritating as shit. I'm so annoyed. Anyways, stop focusing on lack and focus instead on what is going well in your reality and allow it to unfold miraculously, okay? Focusing on lack is what is creating it in, in your reality, which is causing an energy block from your twin, okay? So... There we go. Um, let's move on to messages from your person. What does, whoa, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I dropped half my deck. What does Capricorn's person want them to know? Okay, messages from Capricorn's person. Two cards. Their person. What does their person want them to know? What in the actual hell is going on with your guys' energy? Like, it's like things feel very slippery, if that makes sense. The cards are slipping. I can't get a grip on the cards. See, I just keep dropping stuff. It's so annoying. Wow. I don't know if we're going to take that card, but it's a reunion card, okay? Um, let's keep going. I'm going to leave the cards face down until I get two cards because I don't want me seeing the card to influence the energy in any way. That's how I've been doing the whole reading. And you can't see the card, so I guess you're going to have to trust me on it. So, what do we got for Capricorn's message from the person? Jeez. That one didn't fly out, so I don't want to take that one either. Come on, spirit. Does their person have anything else to say? A card flipped over, but it didn't flip out. And I'm not taking it unless the energy is wild enough to fling it out, because... Until then, uh, you know, there we go. Oh, you got three now. Oh my God, you're not going to believe it. It was the re reunion card again. Oh my God. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, Capricorn. Mm, mm. I can't even. I can't. All right. First card from your person is holding back. I should have expressed myself better. Um... They didn't have the right words and so they didn't say what needed to be said and there's a lot of regret because they realized they should have said what they needed to say and they didn't and so look it says it's it's like a flower that didn't fully bloom 
They didn't say what needed to be said, right? They held it in. You know? New chapter. I am trying to move on. And it's not saying that they're moving on from you. What it's saying is they're moving on from the feeling of regret. They're moving on from the feeling of, um, you know, it, it came out next to holding back. I should have expressed myself better. So they're moving on from that. They're saying, okay, so I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I made a mistake, right? They're starting a new chapter in their life, meaning they're not looking back at the past, okay? It's only the future. It's only the future, the future with you, okay? That's it. You know, it's a new chapter. There's new fireworks. There's new sparks. There's new dreams, okay? And the last card, okay? So there was that one. There's extreme passion here too. The fireworks represents extreme passion. We have reunion. We will always come back to each other. We will always come back to each other. We will always come back to each other. Reunion. So for some of you, August is going to be the month where the separation phase ends. For some of you, not all of you, take it as it resonates. If you know that you've been doing the work and you've been focused on yourself and you've been vibrating at the highest level that you can possibly vibrate at, then yes, this is for you. If you haven't been doing the work, you'll know because it's it's not going to resonate. None of this reading will resonate. Maybe parts of it will, but not mainly most of it won't. Okay. This is for someone who's cleaned up their energy. They're super high vibrational. They, they are doing the spiritual work. They're doing the shadow work, right? Okay. You'll know because if you found this message, it's for you. All right. Last message from Spirit from the Getting Into the Vortex card from Esther and Jerry Hicks. That was a stupid ass shuffle. But y'all know, like, I've never been the type of reader to sugarcoat anything. Like, I'm going to lay it out how it is. The messages come from spirit in order to help you to get to union. This is not easy work. The twin soul journey is, it, it doesn't have to be hard. If you follow the advice, you get there. If you don't, it's hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't sugarcoat anything. I give the messages as they come. And Spirit says, you follow these paths, you're going to get into union. If you don't, then don't blame me, right? That's just how it is, you guys. It's tough love. It's I give you direct paths to your union. Whether you follow them or not is depends on how you get there, right? That card did not fly out how I wanted it to. There's a lot of cards flipping over, but not flying out. So I am not taking them. Oop, there's your card. All right. That message came quick. Feeling negative emotions mean I'm launching requests. All right. As more people observe hardship and strike a tense, resistant pose and therefore disallow their own well-being, Others use them as their reason to do the same. And in a very short time, a very negative pattern of resistance can sweep through your population. The good news in this scenario is that in every moment that every person is feeling negative emotion about the economic state, vibrational requests for more abundance are launched and those requests are heard clearly and responded to immediately by source. Again, this is about abundance. So do you want to focus on your lack or do you want to focus on, you know, um, not all is lost. So they're saying when enough people focus on lack, then, you know, source responds by sending more. But, you know, do you really want to focus on the negative and on your lack or do you want to focus on what's going good in your life? Therefore, bringing more of that, more of the good right? Ask yourself that. I would want to focus on the good so that more good comes. Like when, when, when I see something I like, this is literally, what I say, yes, thank you more, please more universe. And it, it never fails to bring more. I thank my money when I spend it. I say, thank you because I want more. I want more. I want more pleasure, more money, more love, more trust, more everything, more. Give me more. I'm greedy as hell. You should be too. <laughs> you deserve it, Capricorn. All right, I love you. If you want to book a reading with me, 
Um, everything is going to be in my description box below. It was just $14.44 on my phone. You can't make it up. I love you all so much. Thanks for being here with me, Capricorn.